<laughs> Praise the Lord. Brother Hype Man here, Nerd for the Word, a.k.a. Brother the Judah, formerly known as the Wretched Dog, my brothers and sisters. We turn our Bibles to Philippians chapter 4. We'll be looking at verse 8, and it reads, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. May the Lord add a blessing to the readings, to the hearings, to the animation, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book. That man could ever possess. And my brother, is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. My sisters, you know, I remember when I was part of this cult called the Church of Christ, and, you know, it's. The individual would always go up to the people and start yelling and screaming, You gotta stop sinning! You gotta stop sinning! That's a problem! Did you keep on sinning? I don't know why they don't just stop sinning! If they would stop sinning, there won't be no problem! In Acts chapter 6, uh, the book of Acts, in Acts chapter 28, closes off where the Apostle Paul, a gospel grace preacher, is under house arrest in a low-level dungeon for two years for preaching, teaching, sharing, ministering, proclaiming the gospel of grace. And, and he's awaiting trial with, with the king, so he's there for, you know, two, two years under house arrest in a low-level dungeon. And, um, but... Again, Acts chapter 28 closes off. He's still preaching, teaching, sharing, ministering the gospel of grace to whoever comes visit him. Uh, and, and he's just doing that. And, and while he was doing that for these two years, uh, under house arrest for two years for preaching, teaching, sharing, ministering the gospel of grace, um, he's writing letters. He, he wrote a letter of uh, Ephesians. He wrote the letter of, of Colossians. He wrote a letter to uh, someone from Colossae by the name of Philemon. And then he wrote uh, the, the, the fourth letter, um, Philippians. And, and, and the theme of, of this letter, this book that he wrote while he was under house arrest in a low-level dungeon just because he was preaching the gospel of grace. The theme of, of, of the letter, the book of Philippians is to, to rejoice in the Lord. In other words, to praise the Lord. And, and so, you know, he's saying rejoice in the Lord. And, you know, and when he comes to the fourth chapter, he says rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. And, and, and then he, he goes on to give this um, practical principle, this powerful principle, and this established truth when it comes to rejoicing in the Lord or in praise the Lord. He says that, you know, that, that, that to keep your mind, to, to think on these things, think on things that are true, think on things that are honest, think on things that are the righteousness of God, that are just, think on things that are pure, Think of things that are of, of lovely report, like the gospel of grace. Think of things that that are virtuous, and things are the things that you, you, that you 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 could praise the Lord about. And and and, and, he, and he's saying to think on these things. Now, not, not, he doesn't say nothing about no stop sinning. He doesn't say nothing about, no, he says to think on things that are true, that are, that are honest, that are just, that are pure, that are lovely, that are good report, things that to, to praise the Lord about. Think on these things. In other words, think on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the finished work, what he did on the cross. Think on these things. 
And watch this. And whatever you learned from me when I was preaching, teaching, sharing, ministering the gospel of grace, whatever you received when you when you heard the the the, the, the gospel of grace, whatever you you've seen me do, do those things as well. And, 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 and watch this. And the God of peace shall be with you. And then we see in Romans chapter uh, 16, verse 20, when it talks about the, the, the God of peace, the apostle Paul said that the God of peace will bruise the head of the kingdom of darkness. And, and, and with your feet, with the belief of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, when you're thinking on these things that are, that are true, that are, that are honest, that are just, that are pure, that are lovely, that are a good report, that, that as you praise in the Lord, when you think on these things, the God of peace will bruise the head of the kingdom of darkness with your feet. And in the grace of the Lord, our Savior, you want to come again, Jesus Christ will be with you when you think on these things. When you fix your eyes on his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the finished work that he did on the cross. And the theme of the, of, of, of the letter of the book of Philippians is to rejoice in the Lord. So when rejoice in the Lord, let's do this. Praise the Lord! May the Lord bless you! May the Lord keep you! May the Lord's face shine upon you! May the Lord lift up and cast you! May the Lord give you his peace! And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace. Which is able to build you up in inheritance to those who sanctify. In the precious name of his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. And out of him that is able, keep you from falling and present you for us in the presence of his glory. Both glory, mercy, dominion, and power, both now and forever. <laughs> when you think on the Lord our Savior, Jesus Christ, the God of peace, <laughs> That surprises all understanding. <laughs> we'll bruise him. in Jesus' name the, the, the kingdom of darkness. <laughs> Romans chapter 16, verse 20. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the peace that surpasses all understanding. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> I gotta stop light. No, it's turned green. <laughs> God, they love. <laughs>